This video explains how to calculate the min and max values by groups in a data frame and how to add these values as a new column to this data frame. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains nine rows and the two columns, val and crew, whereby the first column contains different values and the second column is a group indicator. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the minimum and maximum values of these groups and add these values as a new column to our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines five to eight. So in these lines, I'm calculating the minimum value by group and I'm doing that using the AVE function and I'm adding the output of the AVE function as a new column to our data frame and I'm calling this new column cr min. And within the AVE function, I'm specifying the values column of our data frame, the group column of our data frame, and I'm specifying the function argument to be equal to min. So after running lines five to eight of the code, a new data frame called data min is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing our new data frame. And as you can see, we have added a new column to this data frame, which is called min, And this column always contains the minimum value of each group. So for instance, the minimum value of the group A is equal to one, the minimum value of the group B is equal to four, and the minimum value of the group C is equal to seven. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate the minimum value by group and how to add this value as a new column. However, similar to that, we can also calculate the maximum value by group, as you can see in lines 10 to 13. And basically the only difference compared to lines five to eight of the code is that this time I'm specifying the function to be equal to the max function. So after running lines 10 to 13 of the code, another data frame called data max is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame, another window is opened, which is showing our new data frame containing the maximum values. And as you can see, we have added another column called crew max, and this column contains the maximum values by groups. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.